The stage is now set for the first ever college national championship playoff game at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. All of North Texas is getting a huge economic boost because of that. Fox 4's James Rose at the stadium with more on what we're talking about. James. You know, Richard, this is only college football, but yes, it is expected to have a huge Super Bowl type economic impact on North Texas with Arlington and Dallas getting the lion's share of that economic money spent here. And we can all thank the Oregon Ducks and Ohio State fans for their support of North Texas. Now, the host committee putting together this estimate estimates upwards of $300 million. That's a little more than half of what Super Bowl 45 brought to North Texas in 2011. The estimate takes into account all of the combined events like Fan Central at the Dallas Convention Center, the playlist at the American Airlines Center, and spending on hotels, dining, and memorabilia. Many fans have likened this to the first college Super Bowl, and they appear to be buying a lot of merchandise just to prove they were here. It's, it's been a really banner year, 12 months for Dallas-Fort Worth, to have the Final Four here in April and to get the inaugural college football playoff championship game. I don't think any other city is going to be able to boast that in the future because the schedules just probably won't align that way. So it's a big tribute to everyone involved with AT&T Stadium, the local organizing committee members, to have two of the premier college football championships and basketball championships in Dallas-Fort Worth within a 10-month time period. Now, another interesting note, while the Cowboys game was on, meaning all the locals were watching the game, Fan Central was packed with Ducks and Bucks fans, just another sign of the significance of the economic impact that will likely be felt uh, once the game is over on Monday and everyone is headed home. Now, whomever wins out here, ultimately, North Texas will win because of this economic stimulus. Richard. Thank you, James Rose.